and we're back. Look at what little Mike got. Who'd you win this off of, Mikey? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's pretty. All right, let's go. Hey, everybody, we're back. We're back. How long has it been, Mike? You know it's how been, long it's, it's been? It's been too long. Nine it's months. It's been nine, nine months. months since the last time we played. And you know what? It's not. It's because of his schedule or my schedule. We had personal things going on, so it didn't. This it, it didn't match up. So we didn't really have time together. And I did miss this. I miss this boy big time. I miss this guy big okay. kid. So during the time that I haven't shot with Mike, I went through some pretty bad stuff. Uh, I, you know, my game, you guys watched my games. I won 13 weeks in a row and then I lost like seven in a row. I mean, it was ugly and I lost everything because I lost my confidence, Mikey. And when you, that's a huge thing. When you lose your confidence, everything else drops down, right? And you, do you remember when I did that video, uh, uh, that three day video with Shane and Simming, they were playing each yeah, other? of course. I sat there front row, eight to 10 hours a day watching these people play and they made it look so easy. And you know what, that actually, it, it helped my game and it hurt my game. First, it helped my game because I saw them do things that I don't know. If you don't know something, you will never be able to do it. You know something, doesn't mean you'll be able to do it, at least you'll know, then yeah. you can practice it, right? Yeah. Now, they were making everything look so, so easy that when I get up to the table, I'm like, oh, that, this is easy. Boom, I miss. Boom, I miss. They're putting hard bottom left, like extreme left on it, and they know the, what do you call that, deflection, uh, yeah. the cues and all that stuff. Line, yeah. We can't do that unless, unless you actually practice it. So actually watching them drop my game quite a bit because I know it, I just can't do it because they make it look so, so easy. And you got to have somebody explain to you the reason why you got to do it. Yeah, but there's one thing, there's one thing, I'm going to cut you off for a second. There's one thing you got to remember. I can't be you better than you can be you, and you can't be me better than I can be me. We're all our own selves, and we all have our own personality, and we all play different than each and every one of them. We may aim our ball the same or do other things, but we're all different. And you know, you may do something that's you may come to do something that's better than Shane or me or Kenny or the top players in the world. And we don't know until we start practicing and doing the things and put our own personality in them. And that's what we're here for. Yeah. All right, so today we're gonna work, uh, Mikey's gonna show, Mikey showed me this a few a while ago, but we never put it on video, but it's the banking using the double. What's it called? It's a, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's, like I call it like a table stack banking, you know, you're, you're you're, you're putting one table past another table and you're aiming for the far, the invisible table's pocket. And then we're, we're, he's gonna show us that, then he's gonna show us the tangent line, the tangent line with, uh, with English, how, how it's gonna affect, and it's very important for you to know where your cue ball is going, right? And, yeah, and then we're gonna have, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Kenny do it, okay? Um, I'm gonna show Kenny how to do it again, and then Kenny's gonna do it. We're even gonna help you, we're gonna put markers up to where that pocket is on the other, where the invisible table pocket is, the aim point, it's really easy to find. It's super simple. And you know, nobody would know it. You'd think, wow, I mean, how is this? And then also we're at the end, uh, Mikey's gonna talk a little bit about etiquette. Yeah. Table etiquette. Exactly. All right, so I'm ready, let's go. Okay. So, okay. so what I call this, what I call this, and it, it, it was shown to me a long time ago, it's called a, a, a stack table banking system. Uh, so what we actually do is we imagine that there's another table that's set right against this one. So this table that we see is right here. Like two tables are stacked side by side. And if we're banking to, let's say, this hole on the side pocket, we bank for the opposite side on the other table, okay, which would be right there. So. So all I do is aim for that line, that 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 side that side pocket over there, and bam, that goes, okay? that's all we do. So if it's right here, of course it's shorter. We're aiming straight for that that side pocket right there on the other table, and all we have to do is bam, 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 bam. Okay. so I don't even need to go do anything with the ball. All I need to do is hit hit that straight to that spot. 
So you're basically trying to make your object ball into this pocket. This is exactly what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And same thing. Same thing with the corners. Same thing with the corners. Same thing with the corners. Double stack. There's no difference. There's no difference with the corners. We're gonna just put the ball right, right here. Get the water. So I'll just go here. Straight to the stick, right there. How about long? Okay. Long, long ways. No different. No different. Then you're gonna take that table. Let's go. This way. So we're gonna take this table, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see another table backwards, right? So. Yeah, that's about right. So. Here we are, I've aimed straight for that spot right there. Dead straight for the, for Katie's, see? Oh, yeah. okay. Easy, easy. It's easy. Let me try, let me try. All right. All right, so here we go, here we go right here. So I gotta aim that spot. ball at that pocket right there, yeah. right? So make it straight with the, we make it straight you with the make ball. make it straight? Yeah, make it straight right there, okay? Dead in the hole. Say it. Dead in the hole. Dead in the hole. Man, that's been a while. <laughs> so even if I'm a little bit angled off, I still just got to shoot it over there, right? Yeah, that's it. Same pocket. Same. Dead in the hole. Dead in the hole. And speed. Hitting a hard saw makes a difference. Of course, absolutely. You know that. Speed. Hit it real slow to my step. Okay. Hit it real slow to my step. Okay. okay. Low, I wasn't slow. No, we're like this is slow. Look, so this is this is this is a this is slow right here. This is slow. Right here. Yeah, that's slow. Yeah. One pocket player, man. You got to know your banks. <laughs> yes. We're you're right. We're gonna go to the to fast. Hit it slow. Right, it's still you fast. Hit, you're hitting with the center ball, though. Hit it with red and angles. Hit it with, with center. Hit it with both centers. All right. Six going down. Six going down. There you go. Perfect. See? So. Again. So we'll double the table. You just got to eye it, right? Visual, visualize it? Yeah. It's just draw, draw, uh, just just go one table over and and look at that. You'll see. Imagine the opposite side pocket. You don't even need to look at nothing else. Just make the ball. Yeah, no, yep. Make the ball. Hey, do 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 that one. Now, you, now we do. We know you can do that, Kenny. Okay. Now do this one. Okay, here. First, line it up straight with my stick. Okay. There you go. Then the hole. So you're gonna put some here. That's not straight in, but I just gotta aim for your stick. Aim for that pocket. Dead the hole. Dead. Dead in the hole. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I had comments because I haven't been making videos with Mike. And they're saying that I got into a fight with, with Mike? No. Nah, nah. With what? They, they're saying because I, I didn't make a video with you for like almost a year that we were uh, we got into a fight and we're not talking. We never got into a no. fight not once. We've no, been no, best no. of friends the whole time. Yeah. It's just uh, when my father passed away, you know, I had to deal with a lot of stuff. He had to deal with a lot of stuff with his uncle passing away. And, you know, it's like taking care of our family is another thing and taking care of us as best as we can. And I was sick and then he got sick. Now I feel better to have it 30 years. By the way, I'm single again, okay? <laughs>